Okay, everyone, so if everything goes well today, I'm gonna catch a fish on a rubber band. What's out there? Earlier this year, I was just scrolling through YouTube and I found this video. It was of a gentleman, I believe in England or Scotland, who actually showed that he actually caught some trout using an elastic band or rubber band. He showed how he tied the fly and then he took it out and put it under a float and was able to catch something. So I sat down and did it. Now, I've come to Calvert Cliff State Park to see if I can catch one of these hybrids, these hybrid bluegill and green sunfish because they're so aggressive on a rubber band. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so before I actually tie this fly, I want to say three things. Number one, I'm not the best fly tire. Again, I spin fish more, but I do like to try tying flies here and there. Number two, I don't have the greatest setup to film it and everything. And number three, I'm going to do my best so that maybe if you want to try it, you can kind of look at it as well. Here's my supplies. I've got a Gamagatsu size 6 octopus hook, rubber band, and when I tie flies, I don't go out and buy expensive thread. This is just sewing thread that I have when I used to put buttons back on shirts and everything like that. I'll start by putting some wraps on the shaft of the hook going down towards the bend. I've taken my rubber band and I've cut it, and I'm going to lay it on the hook and take some wraps around it to try to keep it in place. Bring it down. Now that the rubber band is in place, I'm going to take my wraps back up the hook. And I'm going to take wraps of the rubber band around as well. Go around the end of the rubber band to tie it in place. I don't have a whip finish or whip finishing tool, so I just wrap it a couple of times around my fingers and bring it over there and pull it tight. One, two, put it over top of the eye of the hook, bring it tight. One, two, bring it tight. After snipping off that extra piece of the rubber band, I've got what I think looks like a little maggot or a grub of some sort. More fleshy, it's kind of spongy of course because it's a rubber band and that's the fly that i'm going to use there's my bait looking like a maggot got it on a 10 foot fixed line pole and i'm gonna put it right there and there was a bite already
Let's try that again. There's a little large mouth right there. Got a piece of split shot on there. There we go. That piece of foam float might not be letting it get down deep enough. Okay, we've done it. We've got a fish hooked. Yes, we've got one of those hybrids hooked on the rubber band. Yes, sir. There it is. Right there in its mouth. Catching a fish on a rubber band. We'll put him back. See if maybe we can get another one. Nice and aggressive. So I'm not going to say it was easy. I did have to move over and try to find another spot to try to see if I could get to some fish. But it's possible. I actually caught a fish on a rubber band. Let me know if you try anything weird out there. Candy, that type of stuff. Let me know in the comments. And until next time, tight lines.